I'm uh, an initiate from uh, the Earth Center, a spiritual and cultural organization started by the Prophet Nebnaba Lamusa Morodenebeg, a Dogon high priest and healer from uh, the Gulumu Kingdom, Burkina Faso. And the organization has a mission of uh, reconnecting humanity and uh, the diaspora to its original ways of life and uh, understanding of the universe. The Earth Center holds um, really a doorway for anybody looking to get into uh, an authentic initiation into Kemetic knowledge, uh, Dogon knowledge and spirituality. It, so the Earth Center has three branches. It has MTAM, which is the School of Kemetic Philosophy and Spirituality. It has Firefly Productions, uh, which is it produces uh, newspapers like the Sunny Side and uh, quarterly magazines uh, called the Firefly, which contain uh, energy readings and articles written by initiates on numerous different topics. And then we have Ancasta, which is natural healing, which gives people access to traditional uh, herbs and healing from uh, the continent. So within MTA, uh, you can take Medu, which is learning the language known as hieroglyphics in the West. You can take Kartibi, which is uh, technical spirituality and philosophy. Uh, and you can also take the sun, which is traditional healing, uh, learning how the human body works from a traditional perspective and, and how to preserve life. Many people look at Africa, they see a place that's in need of outside help, that's in need of different services. But the reality and the truth of it is that the world is in need of what's here and it's almost like it's been the logic has been flipped on its head where we think we have something to offer the place that has something to teach us within this earth center we have a branch that we call the project in merita meaning project in africa Merita being the original name of uh, Africa before the Greeks named as Africa. And uh, within the project in Merita, we have the mission of, uh, first of all, to reclaim all of the cultural, spiritual, historical objects whether material or non-material objects that were taken away from us by the colonizer. And at the same time, we have also a mission to preserve what have been, what kind of is remaining here that the conquer uh, the Western colonizers was weren't able to, you know, destroy or take away from us. So people travelled to Merita to learn, and they went to learn about spirituality and all the sciences, all the mathematics, all the things that. The modern world holds and see has its roots in Merida. We didn't have races as we do today, um, as humanity was just humanity, just people with different shades and different 
um, experiences of the world. The Earth Center is still connected to that philosophy that the hum humanity is one family. After what happened in Egypt, when our ancestors left Egypt, and everybody ended up, you know, uh, destroying the temples there and then making it become uh, like a touristic site and people to go look and all of that. So our culture is not about display. Our culture is more about, you know, being serious and learning and all of that. So we're trying to make sure that we don't build any more temples, big temples or big structure to present our culture and we make sure to keep it because the spirit the spiritual aspect of it is the most important thing not the physical aspect anymore and uh, we can see that the modern societies are more attracted with the material aspect of everything so in these kind of places we have a lot of things set up in the way that you don't really know which, what is what Education is just exposing a person to something, you know. Uh, but then educated to be what is what is the question. Here, uh, you see everybody living on the land, fitting into nature, maintaining these ancient fields of expertise uh, that are very advanced um, in spirituality, agriculture, philosophy, mathematics, all aspects of living. Um, and they're doing it without modern schools. And the curriculum is the curriculum that the earth provides. And this is something that's being maintained. Um, I've had a lot of my own beliefs uh, and perspectives shaken. Um, and it's been, again, I say that humbling process of unlearning everything you have spent your lifetime learning because you realize who has been teaching you and why they've been teaching you. So a human being at any given moment is just a compilation of all the exposures that they've had up to that point. It's interesting because in initiation we, we get a lot of exposures, but coming here and then seeing how those concepts apply to everyday life, and then not just everyday life um, for someone who's living here in Merita, but really for anyone who's trying to survive in this life, on this earth. In the West, many people eat food every day and they have no idea the process that goes into planting, growing food, harvesting it, then actually preparing it from scratch. Um, or animals, or I mean, there's just a million things that in the West we aren't exposed to on a regular basis and that retards our growth as humans. So we come here and it's almost like being an infant starting from scratch. Really, people here are rich. What makes you rich is not money. It's, the no it's your knowledge and your family is what makes you rich. And Really, in America, they're the ones who don't have food because when you eat that, people end up being rushed to the hospital. Here, it's natural food. They, they plant their seeds and they grow into corn, into millet. You waste all of your money on Empire State buildings and blocking the, the sun from coming in and building street lights so that you can't even see the stars. Really, the money should go to, like, preserving life. Now it's our job to fill in some of the holes that um, have come as a result of colonization so that the next generation can start from somewhere, can have some kind of structure in their life spiritually so that they can grow and they can, um, we can set something for the future. Coffee. 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 Coffee.
But for me, the EC has brought me to a place that I didn't think I would be able to be. Um, and I don't know, you, you can't really like quantify that, especially when it shifted you as a person and there's certain things that now you can't move back from. It's not something that you've read and something that you can sort of intellectualize, it's something that you can experience. You know? So you can be a priest, but at the same time be a, you know, a student or an initiate to another priest, depending on you know your level of initiation. So more, I would say most of us here are apprentice healers apprentice, you know, uh, priests and medicine men and women and all of that. Because the bottom line is that we are still learning from nature, you know, no matter what level you are. So really, um, for you to come to initiation, it has to come from here. You, has to, you have to want to be initiated. You have to really already be able to kind of see, I think, the problems in the world and want to change them, you want to change yourself, you want to learn from a civilization and from a culture that lives in harmony with the earth, that lives in harmony with nature and is the solution to many of our modern problems. Really at the Earth Center what we're doing or, and, uh, and what we aspire to do at the Earth Center is to train leaders. Everybody is trained to become a leader. You know? So there's no like one leader in the Earth Center. It's a whole process that trains the new generations to come in to become leaders. And I think that what's, what really is missing in modern society is that we don't take the time to understand that a person is more than just flesh and bones. That really a lot of our, um, a lot of our problems that may be manifesting in our behavior or manifesting um, in physical ailments themselves um, really start from a spiritual level. There's just a lot of different factors that play into what actually makes a human being human and live the human experience. Uh, just like the way, uh, how do you call it, Bob Marley put it, you know, it's like what goes around comes around. You know, so the modern society is trying to go around the traditions but at the end, it's just a matter of uh, years or months. They will end up coming around and then find the tradition remaining where they've been and ask them, okay, well, are you tired going around, turning around? Okay, yeah, now this is the easier way to go about everything. And then that's the time we will show like the shortcut to the West. <laughs> of the day material money pride and all of that are something that stay behind you and it's just the enlightenment the knowledge that you have in this place in my place here they say being a human being you come to existence and you don't get to plant a tree or save a life you just not a human being who's living you just pass you just came and then passed through life and life will not remember you yeah. so feeling deep feeling deep inside that you belong to something like this i mean you don't really need anyone to tell you go ahead and do it yeah. so yeah Now